Today we're going to make one of my favorite sauces, Welsh Rabbit. Originally called Welsh Rabbit, there's actually no rabbit in this, nor is there any evidence that it's Welsh. But really, who cares, because it's delicious. So let's get started here with one tablespoon of butter. We want to melt that over medium heat, and then we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Get that all incorporated with our butter. This is almost like making a roux, except we don't need to cook it. We're just preventing lumps at this point. Next, we're going to add one cup of milk, and we want to get whisking with this right away. We want to get this all incorporated and prevent any little lumps from forming in the corners. Once we have the cornstarch, butter, and milk incorporated, we want to add half a teaspoon of salt, along with a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. And finally, we want one teaspoon of a mustard of our choice. Now we want to start heating this to a simmer over medium to high, depending on how brave you are. I'm going to heat this on high and just whisk constantly until it starts to thicken up like this. Now we can go ahead and cut off the heat. There's plenty of residual in here to melt our cheese. Eight ounces of cheddar cheese in this case. That's about two cups if you really pack it in there. Now we just want to give this a mix and watch our cheese melt into one of the most beautiful sauces of all time. Now traditionally Welsh rabbit was served over toast, but this sauce is great on all kinds of different stuff. Me and the wife have been eating low carb lately, so instead of that evil, evil toast, we're going to have ours over some asparagus and steak. But this sauce would be awesome on eggs, cauliflower, or whatever you would like to put it on. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Passion for Food. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you don't miss our future recipes. And check out one of our other great videos on the screen now. This has been Graham with A Passion for Food. It's medium well, just in case anyone was wondering.